A butte overlooking the city was at one time a center of worship for the Native Americans who called it Tapalamaho, which means the Mount of Communion. After reports of the Lewis and Clark expedition were published in about 1807, a small and steadily increasing stream of isolated pioneer groups began settling the valley and improving routes from the east set up by fur traders and mountain men. 1850, Benjamin Cleaver took a donation land claim of 640 acres which included most of the present town site of Mount Angel. In October of 1880, the railroad came through and after building a small station house, named the site Fillmore, after one of the railroad officers. German Catholic families started settling in the area around this time and in July of 1881, George Settlemeyer having repurchased ground from Cleaver, platted a town site near the railroad, naming it Frankfurt. Cleaver repurchased the land one year later and not liking Fillmore or Frankfurt, changed the name to Roy. In 1881, Benedictine monks looking for a suitable location to establish a new Benedictine home in the West, arrived from Ingelberg in Switzerland. After witnessing the enthusiasm of the local families who had just completed their first church building and the beauty of the Butte, they purchased the land and in 1883 established a school for boys and the Mount Angel Abbey. Also in the early 1880s, Benedictine sisters from Maria Rickenbach in Switzerland moved from Jervis, a small town west of Mount Angel, to establish a convent and a school for girls. The establishment of these two Christian schools was a major factor in the city's early growth. In 1883, Father Adelhelm Odermatt the founder of the boys' school on the Butte and the Mount Angel Abbey, petitioned the post office to change the name of the town from Roy to Mount Angel, which is an anglicized form of Engelberg. Mount Angel continued to grow, and on April 3rd, 1893, with a population of 250, the town was incorporated. Mount Angel was once surrounded by hop fields and dairy farms with a creamery that produced the then famous Rose Valley cheese and butter. At one time, a flax plant processed the flax grown in the area. Today, the town is still surrounded by rich farmland, growing a variety of crops as well as vineyards, flower fields, and nursery stock. Having officially become the Mount Angel Abbey in 1904, the town and the monastery have persisted for over a century and a half, despite the ravages of time, numerous fires, history, and development. on a clear day with views of five peaks. You can often see Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Adams, Mount Hood, and Mount Jefferson. Historically, the Willamette Valley forests were mostly an oak savanna tall grasslands with scattered Gary Oaks and groves of coastal Douglas fir. The river floodplains contain extensive wetlands, stands of willow, alder, and cottonwood, and gallery forests. 
This landscape was maintained by the Native American inhabitants of the valley who set frequent fires that encouraged the open grasslands and killed young trees. Human habitation in the Willamette Valley is estimated to have begun between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. Until recently, the valley was largely inhabited by bands of the Kalapuya tribe of Native Americans. Malala and Chinook peoples also have inhabited portions of the Willamette Valley. 16,000 Kalapuya are estimated to have populated the valley as recently as the early 19th century. As many as 90% of the Kalapuya have died as a result of an epidemic of fever that hit the area between 1830 and 1833. Salmon, deer, and camas bulbs have provided primary food sources for the valley's first residents who used fire to encourage persistence of oak savanna. Oak trees have supplied another staple in the form of acorns, which are leached, cooked, and eaten. Kalapuya, Chinook, and Malala peoples of the Willamette Valley currently are included among the confederated tribes that make up the Grand Ron and Silex nations. From the 1841 Oregon Trail opening, when the effort of many years finally widened the fur traders' mule trails into an improved rough road just capable of carrying the width of a wagon, Settlers charged into the region along the new trail, creating new settlements centered about Oregon City as the early capital, even before ownership of the region was settled. The Willamette Valley served with its sawmills, lush, productive farms, handy river transport networks, and nearby timber and mineral resources developed naturally as a cultural and major commercial hub as the Oregon country became the Oregon Territory. The Hudson's Bay Company controlled the fur trade in the valley and the rest of the Oregon country in the 1820s and 1830s from its Columbia District headquarters at Fort Vancouver. The Willamette Valley was connected to California's Central Valley by the Siskiyou Trail. The first European settlements in the valley were at Oregon City and Champuig. The first institution of higher learning on the West Coast, today's Willamette University, was founded in the valley at Salem by Jason Lee, one of the many Oregon missionaries who settled in the valley. The Mount Angel Abbey is nestled atop a 300-foot bluff with views of Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Adams. Often, Mount Rainier can be seen peeking over Mount St. Helens' shoulder. Walkways offer visitors a peaceful place to stroll through the landscape and natural grounds and enjoy the architecture of the abbey buildings. The Romanesque-style Abbey Church is the center of life on the holy hilltop. Visitors are welcome to gather with the monks for prayer or just enjoy the architecture, art, and silence. The Abbey is home to one of the most significant theological libraries in the Pacific Northwest, home to priceless collections of illuminated manuscripts and a display of rare hand-printed books. Its museum features an unusual collection of artifacts and curiosities from the Pacific Northwest and beyond, including North American mammal collections and Holy Land artifacts. It is open daily from 9 to 5 p.m. The church, located at 575 East College Street, was placed on the National Historic Register in 1976.
This one was built ornate in the Revival Gothic style with locally produced pressed cement bricks. It has 26 large stained glass windows and its 200 foot bell tower can be seen for miles. It's built in 1912 as a Gothic jewel. The church dates back to 1881 when it was first built. Here at the Mount Angel Theater Studio, we'd like to send a big thank you out to the Mount Angel Historic Society for their contribution of historic images in the creation of this video and in providing us pertinent and relevant information pertaining to the history of the Mount Angel Theater. Originally built in 1912 as a silent movie house, the Mount Angel Theater was purchased by Stu Rasmussen in 1980, and he began a renovation and conversion to a live performance and video production space, which he undertook over 42 years of his life. Moving forward, John Deschler has become the current steward of the theater studio and is attempting to make it a viable asset yet again in this glorious historic community. Mount Angel, a Willamette Valley community largely composed of descendants of German and Swiss immigrants held its first Oktoberfest in late September 1966. By the mid-1980s, the annual event had become the largest folk festival of its kind in the Pacific Northwest, drawing more than 300,000 visitors a year. We hope you enjoy this year's Oktoberfest and that you have a safe and Bavarian time. Here at the Mount Angel Theater and Studio, we'd like to thank you all for joining us today, for coming in to express your curiosity. You can stay up to date with our activities and live performances at our website, www.mountangeltheaterstudio.com. We encourage you to reach out, stop by, Visit us whenever you're in the territory and see what we're doing in this historic silent movie 